But the enemy comes to your mind and raises a big question about the word of God. You are facing a temptation. The first step is to make you doubt what God has said. There are so many things we used to believe. Only we say today we are questioning them. Because the enemy is constantly challenging the truth of God's word in our mind. He creates a doubt in your mind. He then back it up with a lie. That's the second step. Number three, he offers an alternative. He gives you an alternative to obeying God's word. Church calls our temptations to take matter into our own hands and to do it our own way because we don't think God is moving as fast as we want him to be. God can bring the impact of a thousand years and put it in one day for you. If you wait for Every temptation to make you doubt will die at the instance of the truth of the word of God. How do I respond correctly to temptation? I affirm God's word. Every time Jesus was tempted, he would say the scripture. The tempter will come. And when he comes, you are better affirming God's word and you are better able to quote it. Let this from Matthew 4. Just because you are filled with the spirit doesn't mean you won't be tempted. If the tempter came to Jesus after 40 days of fasting and prayer, he will come to you. It's better to know how to deal with it than to stay all your time wishing that the enemy will not come. Number two, times of spiritual high are followed by temptation. After every mountain top, there's always a valley. Number three, Satan is an opportunist. He will tell to you when your resistance is low. This one I want you to take note of. We are tempted not just in our area of weakness, but also in our area of strength. I said, sometimes the devil can abuse and cause you to misuse your strength. I mean, the whole realize that the Bible says run from every appearance of evil. Because sometimes if you don't run, you become be afraid. Search me tonight. If there has been any weakness in me that a tempter has been using to bring me on my knees, and deny my life of the power of the gospel. If there be any indulgence, any secret sin, any personal sin that is not allowing your power to be obvious in my life, let the word of Satan give way. 